And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Migos will never be the same. I'm sure y'all already know, Takeoff has departed this realm over allegedly, they say, a dice game. I don't really care if it was a dice game or not, because at the end of the day, that's really besides the point. You know, we can go different routes with this. We could say, oh, how many more? When is it gonna stop? Um, I even seen some things where some people say, hell, the KKK then retired because niggas killing each other and they, they doing their job for them. So many routes you can go with this. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be more, like I always say. And you should be very, you shouldn't even be shocked or surprised when you wake up in the morning or about to go to bed at night or when you at work or just chilling and you just so happen to see some bad news from your favorite entertainer. I always tell people, it ain't just the rappers, it's everybody, especially if you're in the limelight. Just yesterday, I was talking to somebody and, and, and they was like, you know, everybody ain't out to get you. And that's definitely true. I do agree with that. Everybody ain't out to get you, but somebody is. There's somebody out there jealous. There's somebody out there that ain't got all their marbles. There's somebody out there that do not have a soul. And in this desensitized type of generation that we live in, you gotta expect anything. Let me tell y'all something. You are never too careful. There is no such thing as being too safe. There's no such thing as being too paranoid. I don't been in many situations. Hell, I don't damn near been robbed before. In LA, uh, the only way how I got out of it was to get my whatever, you get my you know what, to get out and de-escalate the situation. I'll get into that later. The thing is, I don't been through this jump before. I know what it's like to be, you know, held up or be in a situation where it's do or die. And a lot of folks ain't never really been through that. They can speak on what their family member been through. They can speak on uh, what a coworker or a cousin or whatever them been through. But you never know what it's like until you actually get in that position. And in most cases, most of us don't even see it coming. Even if you got that thing on you, it really don't even matter. Because when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. It's sad because no shade to the people or not trying to disparage the, the soldiers and our armed forces and stuff like that, but the black man has a better shot at going to war in Iraq or anywhere else than to sign up to be a rapper. Oh, I would just say an entertainer in general, somebody that's in the limelight. Like I said, it ain't just the rappers. The YouTubers can get it. The TikTokers can get it. Anybody that's in the limelight. And I just want to tell y'all, man, um, Move right, that's all I gotta say. Cause you never know when that time gonna come. And the crazy part about it is, look too, Migos, allegedly, that's what they say, um, they split. Offset wasn't around and I guess they had some indifferences. I don't really know. Nobody truly knows unless you're in the inner circle. I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. There's a lot of people walking around saying, F you, forget about you. I don't want you in my life no more. And I want y'all to really take that into consideration because when I really mean F somebody, when I truly in my soul say, I don't F with you, or I remove you from my life and we end on extreme bad terms, I truly mean it. So if something would have happened to you, I'm not pulling up to your funeral. What I'm trying to say is a lot of people say things that they really don't mean. They say things just to try to make themselves feel good in the moment to try to heal that temporary pain. And when things pop off, then here you are feeling some type of way. Y'all better be very careful and be very mindful of the things that come off your tongue because a lot of y'all really ain't about that life when shit hit the fan. So if you got loved ones out there, friends, whatever that you said things to, just make it right. If you know you truly ain't ready to see them laid up in the box, make it right. That's all I'm saying. Because 
We all heard it before. Life is short, right? So, yeah, man. It's a messed up world out here, man. Messed up world. Ain't much else to say. I want y'all to take this situation, apply it to your life, and keep your head on the swivel. And remember, it could be the most cheesiest, corniest person, somebody that don't fell off, or somebody who ain't even on the scene no more that can get it. It could be a, a, a Disney actor. It could be anybody that can get it. All I'm saying is, especially black folks, if you're in the limelight, like I said, regular folks can get it too. If you're in the limelight, black people, you will never, don't ever let nobody tell you that you're moving too cautious. Don't ever let nobody tell you that. Ever. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be them that going to be shaking their head, posting pictures of you, saying, why him or why her? So you move how you want to move and don't let nobody make you feel otherwise. That's all I got to say.